hello all welcome to another video of circuit digest in this video i'll show you how you can make a coin cell 5 volt booster module like this one so this pcb was fabricated using jlc pcb and as you can see the complete board is now ready with the battery on back side of it so what actually happens is we have a boost regulator ic over here if you can see so this regulator IC takes in the uh, input voltage which will be 2.8 to 3 volt from this coin cell which is CR2032 and it would boost it to 5 volt. This 5 volt output will can be obtained either through this USB port or through the pins over here. So the good thing about this IC is that you require only 4 external components like a diode an inductor and a capacitor so the complete circuit and the theory behind the working of the circuit uh, the component details everything can be found at the link given in the description of this video in this video I'll show you how you can how this module actually works so it's 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 ready to be powered so already we are getting 5 volt over here and through the USB port let me grab my multimeter and measure the voltage for you so here we are again with our multimeter setup as you can see the negative terminal is already clipped to a meter using an alligator clip i'm going to touch the positive side now as i touch you can see the output voltage is 5.02 volt which is perfect so what we can do is we can go ahead and use these modules to power some of our microcontrollers and check how they work so let me put the meter aside and this is the package in which the PCB arrived so if you want to take a look at the PCB so here are the other PCBs which I obtained and it looks something like this after soldering all the components on it so let's go ahead and power an Arduino module and an STM32 board and I have uploaded a blink sketch on this Arduino module along with an LED as an external component just to show you that everything is working so since we have a USB uh, port on the module itself we can directly use programming cable like these with the board so you can directly power your Arduino projects directly with this cable so just give me a second I'll connect the cables to the board so here we go the cable is connected uh, one side is connected to the board and the other side I'm going to connect it to the Arduino module as you can see the board is powered from our coin cell over here as we all know Arduino needs 5 volt so the board converts 5 volt to its USB input and the LED is glowing so similar to that we can also power our STM board let me plug this out and bring our STM board plug the cable in and connect our module to the board so as you can see once connected the board is powered on so you can use these uh, boards for basic operations it's, it's it's a very good choice if you're using LoRa because it works on low power and can easily be powered by a coin cell so for all your portable Arduino projects which work on low power this module would become very useful so that's it guys thanks for watching 